Jara demands your rebuke. You know, we probably don't mind keeping grave digging in hand. Wow, well, we do, just don't want any of these. We want the hunting nightmare. Yeah. I mean, we can mill these all the way, I guess. This is fine. I just assume Ro will always have Bone Spike in their opening hand. And then we get a hand like this. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a little bit better. Play this and we have the silence as well. I never lie, but I never tell the truth. Oh, secret rogue. Yeah, we'll play this. This is fine. We could silence it and hopefully that could kill it. But this is most likely a cheat death anyways, so like... Not really gonna matter in a way. We can silence it in the 5-5. Five five. It's always pretty scary. And then this also will get uh, the resummon off of the corporal. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and silence this. Oh, it wasn't cheat death? Well, that's a waste. I don't know why they didn't... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Feel bad for them not having cheat death. They just wasted their NAR with that. Oh, jackpot as well. Okay. Yeah, we don't find that at all, really. Gonna buff this up and go face. We don't play this again. Next turn, buff it up and go face. And then mind spike their face as well. Let's muddy the waters. And if they do do anything to that, oh, I mean, a 3 4 rock with taunt and a 4 3 with rush. Okay, okay. Now we can trade here and resummon it back up. But we could also ping here, bop it there as well, and then continuously go face. Which I think is just way more impressive in the next turn. Turn 6, we play. Bone caller as well as animate dead. Yeah. Now if, we're, if they're able to get through both of the the five fives, we could play uh, Vassal hey, of Two. Oh, they pick any of these? That's oh, okay. We don't care about. It. It's fine. Predicting, sure. Play this. Animate dead. Buff it up. That's fine too. Yeah, if they're able to get through this, it sums up another Corporal, then that's just, you know, able to deal a lot of damage as well. Um, ooh, Kravitoa. Okay. Sure. Are you going to trade more into it? Okay. It's the... Not undead. Oh, well, that might just be game with this. Is it counterspell, though? You know, we'll see what this is. Oh. Okay, well, we don't care then. Well played. <laughs> Your strength never falters. Versus Uther. Okay, Paladin. I will fight with honor. Um, Light makes right. You know, this is a really nice hand against a Paladin, too. Pretty sure we just keep everything here, right? Most of the zombie doesn't. Probably not a bad thing to keep, though, but we are probably trading because they do have a lot of taunts. Atonement's fine. Double taunt. This is probably pure paladin. It also might be mech paladin as well. The light dims. But sure. This is fine. Next turn, we could ping, hit that, and then we could play Animate Shadow. Oh, is this a... Oh, Mustard for Battle. That's cool. I haven't seen any Paladin play this card. This card yet. Oh, wow. That is a top deck. That removes everything here. 
<laughs> oh my god, that was the best thing we could have drawn right there. We do play double of the Whispers of the Deep, so... He might just concede after that, right? Does, does he... Like, that was like the best con... Ooh. That's fine. So we just resummon it back up. But I'm gonna play the, the haunt. And you know, it's it's pressure. We're gonna play it. Yeah, so this is a pure deck if he is playing the class class action lawyer. I just haven't seen Mustard for Battle in any of the pure list. This is like a pure version of the dude paladin then. It's cool. It's cool. But we still just go face with this. We just don't care. Um, we will do this. I'm actually going to buff this up because I know this is going to die. Oh. Threat and lethal here with this. We're going to make him have to make some trades. And, you know, whatever the haunt becomes, we just play whatever that is. The oh, Purator? Is okay, that's fine. four cards off of that. He hasn't played enough stuff to be able to drop down um, a Light Ray yet. Yeah, we're okay with this. He's going to have to trade this away, though. Or trade into this and let it die. Yeah. Okay, Mind Eater's fine. Don't mind it at all. Hmm. This resummons this back up. That sums back up the haunt. You know, it's kind of worth doing. Or do we want to wait? Play this. Stone up one thing. It might be better just to play the atonement and buff that up. Sure. He removes both of these. Oh, I guess it's not undead. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, you know, pick and choose. I probably could have gotten away with playing this. But I also wanted to play the Atonement so we could trade into the Taunt. But I don't want him to seal blood it. I don't want him to, like, give it Divine Shield or anything like that. Make it even harder for us to try and get over it. Turn 6, he could play the Light Ray. Um, I don't think that would matter too much. I think he just loses here. If he does play the Taunt, we trade, ping it. And then, you know, whatever we discover off of the, the Mind Eater could benefit us as well. Like, if we get a Mustard for Battle, that would work too. If we get Shadow Word on Death, that's good as well. Need a bit more spice over here. Okay. Need a bit more spice over here. And we top deck this. Oh my god. This is just fine like this. We don't even need the, the extra little do it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well played. Adonis versus the Lich King. Will serve me in death. Nice. This is a really good, really cool portrait for this guy. This is just a really solid hand. We just want to keep all this, don't we? Yeah, I don't want Mind Seer. Mind Eater is okay to keep. I don't mind having a turn two play, though. I think it's worth keeping. Um, let's see, what else could we get? We could get the Idol's Adulation. Or Adoration is fine. I don't know. I like keeping Mind Eater, Eater in hand. Yeah. Actually, no, we'll wait. To play this, because... We could coin this out on turn two, and then Animate Dead will always hit this first. Okay, we'll wait. We'll coin this out on turn three. When it dies, we'll have the Haunt. The Haunt hits this. We're just going to be getting a lot of three threes, or uh, four threes as well. Okay. We don't mind seeing Astolar. And we have Grave Dinning too, so that's really good too. If they're able to remove this, we'll be able to have a uh, oh, one mana. Uh, draw two. The citadel stands strong. Okay, that's fine too. Okay, so 
play this, and we go face. Yeah, we don't want them to draw cards. We don't want to kill these things, so they have corpses to uh, potentially remove our things as well. Um, do they play? What what would they put in their ETC band manager for? That'd be good against us. I don't know. What, each card is not something good to pick. I don't know what they what, what it'd be. Ooh, See, this is why we coined out that instead of playing this on turn two. We'll play this. Yeah. Draw two. Oh. Really solid, but I think it's better to play this here. We go face with this. Try and beat out any type of spell that they have. Let's see, this is gonna bring back or haunt. And you know, whatever they pick, this is gonna be dealing to damage everything. We have this as follow up. We can play this next turn. It'd be nice to have undying allies too, but so we could do that with uh, the Rukdin zombie. Okay, Heart Strike. He plays Heart Strike in his ETC Band Manager. That's so interesting. Ooh, School Future's not bad. We'll do this. Get Reborn on that. Does it also apply to this as two? Okay, it doesn't. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll mind see that, see that and go face with that. Their little guy. Their life steal and dead guy doesn't have enough HP. We're just gonna be swarming them with stuff. We'll have atonement. We also have that word um, and death as well. And pure blood's fine. It's nice because it's not paired up with a banshee either, so we don't have to deal with all that. Yeah, we don't care. Go to the six six. That's two four. It does kind of think that we're not able to ping it. If we do top deck a mind seer, that'd be really nice with this. Wow. Okay, so we're playing this next turn, clearly. We have a turn one digging. We can play, the, we can play this. This is fine. Okay. Out of satellation. That's fine. That's fine. Two, four. Yeah, we just play this. This just adds more pressure to us. We'll buff that up. Then we actually want to silence here because it might might make it to where this goes down enough. We could trade. Oh, well, you know, that's fine. We'll go face with that. We'll control a little bit with it. He is going to restore 6 HP back, but, you know, it's going to be dealing 3. And then if someone back, it's going to deal another 3. Yeah, that's fine. I'm a 3. It's going to deal another 3. If he's not able to remove it, at least. Let's see, for next turn, though, what do we want to do? We have Idols of Adol Ador Adoration. Idols of ad Adoration. Not so adoration. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Being difficult. What is that? Plague Strike? Sure. We have this. We don't care. Ooh, Undying Eyes. It's fine. Um, Yeah, we just play this. In face. Our gift of frost shields us. Running out of, you know, post -hop goblin cool. Running out of stuff that we we do have two draws next turn. We're probably gonna be doing that. We could, you know, undying allies onto some good stuff here. Bone collar's nice to see though. We'll see what we get off of the Shadow Teacher first. Or the School Teacher. You know, I actually don't mind the Shard here. But, you know, Holy Smite's probably a good pick as well. Mm. I think I want Shard because if they go wide with like a bunch of healing stuff, we don't want to deal with that at all. Okay, that's nice to see. So we could play Undying Allies with the Shadow Spirits too. Okay. Is an empiric blood a shadow spell? What shadow? Oh, it just discovered a spell. Okay. Yeah, that's why I wanted to pa uh, have the shard. 
the silence of healing. That's fine. That's a good one to get. Don't mind that at all. Um, so we could actually undying here and go boop boop and silence it. Full sounds first. Pick me, pick me. And I'll buff this up. Now, see, 10, 15, 18, 19. That's 19 damage. They only have four. Something follows. I'm gonna go face. This might be the wrong thing to do, but this is six damage here. They can't remove everything here, and they're most likely not gonna have enough damage in hand to kill us. So we're gonna go face here. Okay, so they have what? Soul Stealer. They don't have a way of dealing any damage to us. At least they shouldn't. Mr. Smite's not a, a thing anymore, so. But it's like not, it's not like Death Knight would be playing Mr. Smite, but yeah, we don't, we're okay with that. Deals that. We have nine damage there. He trades to the five one. That's fine. We boop here. That's this is six damage if we if we draw. Hmm, what what could we draw that would help us here? Shadow word death. Corporal's fine. Oh wait, we just win. Well played. <laughs> poor, poor Blood Death Knight. Yeah, 